Hello and welcome to Susie B Living's Gardening by the Moon series. So it is Wednesday the 15th of May and today was a fruits day on the moon phase calendar. So I did actually sow some seeds. Um, I am going to give you your updates for the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday of what is coming up in the moon phases and what I will be doing and uh, in my little schedule that I do, which is always sowing, transplanting, weeding and maintenance and feeding or watering. So let's start with Thursday the 16th of May and Friday the 17th of May. They are both fruits days as well on the moon phase calendar. So if you didn't get what you needed to get done today being a fruits day, you can continue doing it on Thursday and Friday. I sowed my sweet corn um, that I wanted to sow, that is all done. The other things that I want to sow um, tomorrow and Friday are just a few more beans. So I'm going to be putting in some uh, French beans, climbing beans, one called Necker Gold, which is my yellow one that I love to grow, and one called Cos Violet, which is the um, purple one that I love to grow as well. Both of them are fantastic climbing beans. So I will be sowing those. I've already sowed my cobra, uh, which is the green um, climbing bean. They're all coming up. And um, I want to do a few extra amethyst uh, which is the purple dwarf variety and Sprite, which is the green dwarf variety as well. I'm going to throw in a few runner beans, so I will do a few of those. And the runner bean that I like is called Lady Die, so I'll be doing a few of those as well. When I say a few, I mean 12 of each. So I'm going to use this type of module and sow two seeds per cell. And you can actually germinate them outside now because it is warm enough. I have a little station set up on the other side of my emerald greenhouse, which is my um, new staging that I took out of the greenhouse behind me. And that is where I'm germinating everywhere, everything and that's fine, except the sweet corn that I have put in the greenhouse because I just want it to have nighttime temperatures that are a little bit higher than outside. So that is my sowing for fruit stays. Transplanting, I'm continuing to transplant out my chilies and my peppers into the emerald greenhouse. That's an ongoing feat. <laughs> I am also transplanting out tomatoes into the greenhouse behind me. And I've had a cucumber in there that I've used as a kind of semi-sacrificial plant, but it hasn't sacrificed. In actual fact, it's doing really well. So the cucumbers are all coming out here as well. These are my little mini muncher ones that I call, they're, they're an F1 and they're called baby. And they are coming out into this greenhouse. I've got um, a few of them that I'm gonna put in a pot just to start them off. The rest of the um, cucumbers, which uh, have all germinated and they're up, are gonna go in the greenhouse over at the allotment. But I just don't have any room over there at the moment until I start harvesting all my calabres which I will be doing this weekend. Um, so that's that. The other thing that I am transplanting out slowly are my courgettes and also my melons. They're being transplanted. Weeding and maintenance. Um, the I haven't had a chance to check the broad beans over at the allotment. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Everything's tickety-boo here. The broad beans here are doing really well. Um, so that's good. Peas as well. The peas in the garden are good. I've got another lot of peas, which are my, another lot of Monge 2 peas, which are the Oregon sugar pod. They have come up, so they're going to, I need to find a space for those in, the, in here in the kitchen garden. What's worked really well is I have put the peas on at the back of my borders up against the walls. So they're not taking up any room. Prior to that, last year, I did them like for the whole of the bed in like a, a uh, what do you call that? Um, a V kind of shape and it took up too much of the bed. So this way it's worked really well. 
uh, strawberry bed. I still haven't gotten onto that strawberry bed, but I have to do that as well. Um, and my fruit, I'm just systematically going through all my fruit as well. Make sure that anything that has got fruit on it, I'm now giving a bit of a feed to. So that is Thursday and Friday. Saturday the 18th and Sunday the 19th of May are both roots days again. Um, so I am um, sowing some more carrots. I started sowing carrots in a bed here in the kitchen garden. So um, I've done two rows. I'm going to sow another two rows of carrots. The carrots that I'm sowing are for my main crop. So going from autumn into winter and they are uh, Eskimo, it's an F1 and Touchon. Both of those carrots stand in the ground really well. So um, they're a great carrot for uh, autumn winter season. So I'm going to be doing those. I am transplanting, I've got my ochre plants that need to be transplanted again into the next size pot. Um, what else have I got? Celeriac needs to be transplanted. I've got some shallots here and I'm going to check them. I keep looking at these shallots thinking, are they ready? Are they ready? But I think they're actually ready now to go out and I'm going to put them in the kitchen garden. They are the Zabruna shallots. Um, and uh, I'm going to thin my radish. So I planted um, late radishes for me because I don't normally plant radishes at this time of year but I planted some radishes in my veggie pod and they need to be thinned out so the whole of this veggie pod behind you is radish and they need to be thin thinned out so uh, that is my transplanting weeding and maintenance um, I need to check the red onion and shallot bed on the allotment I noticed that it needs a little bit of weeding uh, so I need to do that they are looking beautiful uh, my garlic as well. I need to come and have a look at the garlic again. One of the beds in my garlic is really behind. So I need to get down and very close and just have a look and see what's going on. Um, and the other thing is my beetroot. So I've got beetroot in the greenhouse over at the allotment. They're coming on nicely. And the beetroot here, I just want to have a look at as well. So that is my weeding and maintenance. And any... Um, I don't think I need to feed anything because the last time I fed my garlic, so I don't need to do that again. But uh, I'll have a look and see if anything's looking a little bit sad and then I might give it a feed. And that is it for the rest of the week. So we've got fruits and we've got roots coming up to Sunday. Um, I will see you Sunday night for your next instalment. Between um, now and then, you'll have my vlog come out on Saturday as well of my what I've been doing in the garden this week. And it's been, the weather's not been too bad. We had yesterday, it was on and off rain. This morning it was on and off rain, but it is quite mild, even though I am sitting in my winter fleece. But I am sitting in my winter fleece, at least with a t-shirt on underneath and not <laughs> my long johns. <laughs> So thank you for watching. I am Susie B from Susie B Living and I'll see you Sunday night. I hope that you are moon gardening with me. Um, any successes, any non-successes, let me know. If there's any questions that you need to ask, please ask. I will always answer and um, I hope you have a good rest of the week. I'll see you later. Bye.